Hi, during this quick video we are going to cover the topic of the permanent technological revolution and we will make links with the stock exchange, the technological shares. So let's go to my full desktop. So we start here, the technological revolution. This is a summary, so we cover uh, the concept of technology that is in this slide. Um, we also cover the industrial revolution that started in the 18th century. Uh, we cover this graph, which is actually how um, uh, lumen per hours have increased with the time. Yes, we cover that um, uh, 100,000 years ago, we needed to burn uh, fires in order to have uh, like this lumen of, of, of hours per uh, hour of, of labor. Right, and this is how it compares with um, the uh, 2000s. So here we have uh, 2000 uh, um, the year 2000. The same happened with this next slide. Uh, in this uh, uh, instance, we cover how um, actually the speed of news increased with time. Um, uh, we cover as well uh, the, the, the fact that it has increased uh, almost to a, a zero, uh, like like the, the, the biggest velocity, if we take into account uh, teletransportation of particles, that is a new technology that is going on now. Um, so uh, the idea of uh, uh, covering this topic of ARC funds is that I want to connect the uh, economic uh, um, or the permanent technological revolution with a real life topic. So that is why I covered the ARC funds here. What is an ARC fund? An ARC fund is a set of shares, in this case for, from technological uh, things, such as the genomical revolution, say that example, and they buy certain shares that are related to that topic. Uh, and they sell this set of shares in the market, so you are able to buy any phone from the ARC phone. So I ask you to control click in here and then you will go to a link uh, to see the materials that we have in there. Uh, we cover the risk of innovation. I ask you to have a look at this. The cost curve declines because of, of technology adoptions. Um, the cross sector ramification. So if you um, uh, discover something, you are able to apply to multiple uh, sectors um, and that new innovation and technologies uh, also are depending on these battery breakthroughs. Yes, many sectors, this is a one example, yes, that is actually impacting many, many sectors of the economy. We cover this a, a, a particularly a technological themes. Uh, I believe this is what ARC um, uh, funds have in terms of uh, offer. Uh, so you will be able to buy themes uh, of, of uh, uh, shares in, uh, using the ARC phone, and you can do that online. If you want to open a, a, a practice account, that will be okay. Uh, so you will be able to see how these ARC phones actually work in general. So I also covered this slide, which is the market short-term horizon. So uh, this is how uh, um, the uh, market uh, reacts after a certain uh, um, technological process, a discovery, and uh, actually when any company uh, tries to design certain uh, uh, technologies, so first is uh, like a wave of early adopters, and then uh, the market uh, uh, carry on increasing if the technology resulted in a good, um, in a, in a, in a good performance. Otherwise, it will decrease over time if uh, the um, discovery or, or if uh, science or, or cannot like like produce what they wanted to uh, uh, produce as a technology. So uh, that is why they, they actually uh, uh, suggest to invest in the art funds. We did not cover this a, a, a very much, but I, I think you can cover the rest of the slides uh, uh, yourselves. Um, you will need to know uh, about the stock exchange. Uh, what uh, you really need to know is how to apply the economic knowledge in certain real life 
aspect. So I, I, I have chosen this space of the market, the technological chairs. Um, and yes, uh, so uh, I finally, I think if I remember well, I show you what are the ARC phones that uh, they usually have. Um, apart from this uh, um, slide, set of slides, I also say that uh, the ARC phones are going to be dependent on the interest rates. So I presented this equation. The NASDAQ, uh, I, I say also, also that the NASDAQ, what is happening with the NASDAQ and other technological indexes and funds, the NASDAQ is an index in uh, the stock exchange that follows the prices of a set of companies in the technological space. The same happened with the ARC funds. It follows, uh, it buys actually the shares of certain uh, uh, themes in technology. Uh, and I say that actually inflation was going to uh, hit uh, the, the prices of the technological shares. So I believe that that is going to happen because interest rates might increase. Uh, they are actually increasing in some parts of the world. We are expecting uh, that interest rates might increase in, in, in the UK soon, following the last advice of uh, the uh, chairman of the Bank of England and the same with the chairman of uh, the Fed, the Federal Reserve of the United States. So I, I say that actually the present values or the, the values of these businesses might uh, decrease as you follow this equation because the denominator in this e equation is increasing interest rates. If in the interest rate I increase, this as a whole will decrease and therefore the present values will decrease. And this is particularly very difficult for uh, technological chairs because they need to make a lot of investment at the, at the beginning. So if the future cash flows decrease, uh, that will that will hit lots this type of chairs. You know, as, as I showed you in, 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 in one of the previous slides from ARC, actually the uh, early adoption of, of these technologies and, and the early or the development of this technology have higher costs, right? And not always they uh, have success. So um, uh, yes, so in this way I am relating the topic of growth and interest rates to uh, the uh, um, space of uh, technology. So therefore, I ask whether we are in a technological uh, bubble. I offer the FANG, the, the coal FANG chairs. The FANG chairs are, uh, uh, well, some of the FANG chairs are here, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and Google. I say that uh, if we follow only these five uh, uh, chairs, the prices of these five chairs, uh, probably we will, uh, uh, we will have a 39% of profit, meaning that if you invested 100 pounds, you will, uh, before the pandemic, you will have uh, a 139 today, right? And actually I say that if you see the standard and pulse without, without these five shares, actually the growth is only 6% um, um, if we compare it with the pre-pandemic levels, right? So actually what we can, uh, um, the, the question is whether we have a technological bubble. Well, I believe what we have now is a, a kind of concentration in the standard and pulse in these five shares, right? This is important because uh, if interest rates obviously carry on increasing, we are going to have a higher drop uh, in, the, in, in the prices of these technological shares. So this is the link then within uh, uh, of how the, the technological space and the technological revolution operates, the higher the interest rates is going to be more difficult the technology to be uh, uh, financed. Yes, and uh, that is probably one of the biggest points that I want to make in here. The concentration of the shares of these five shares can be seen in this chart. So here in the bubble.com bubble, you can see that these five largest companies in the Standard & Poor's 500 has had like 18% of uh, the Standard & Poor's. Currently, the percentage or the portion of, of these five shares in the Standard & Poor's is 20%, which is, uh, as you can see, a very high uh, concentration and that could lead to another dot bubble problem uh, uh, sooner than later, right? 
when I say soon, might be six months. Yes, within six months, within within one year. I think in the short run, uh, prices I cannot see them increasing uh, like very much. It might that the standard and post will carry on increase, increasing slightly, but actually the risk is actually, um, in my opinion, in, in 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 the prices going down. Yes, I also analyze the earnings. Obviously, earnings are uh, very well uh, um, linked to uh, GDP, in which earnings uh, may part of the GDP or is a portion, important portion of the GDP, together with uh, the uh, labor uh, earnings and as well with uh, the uh, um, the rents that you receive from properties. So. As you can see, earnings is a very important component if you want to uh, measure uh, GDP by, by one of uh, the three methods that we have. And uh, I, I show you here that the earnings per share of uh, the uh, Standard & Poor's is actually well below the actual prices of the Standard & Poor's at the moment. So this is just to say that uh, probably uh, the prices are already a little bit expensive if we take into account the whole indexes with the, 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 these five stocks that are taking more and more portion of the standard and poor. So yes, there is a risk uh, down, uh, but if uh, we take out these five stocks from the standard, standard and poor, I think uh, prices are looking more uh, uh, like rational rather than not. Okay. Um, uh, finally, uh, I went into this fact sheet. I like, uh, I, I wanted to go over this as well because it's showing you earnings insights, uh, um, other topics about investments. I, co I cover some topics uh, uh, from here, but um, the reality is that uh, I, what I'm, I am doing here is to um, uh, trying to do something that you will need to do in the future, which is actually trying to uh, explain how um, economic uh, subjects can be applied to different spaces of uh, the economy and that is something that you will need to do for your assessment so for instance in your essay that is what uh, you need to do to find a problem try to find a, a, a space to uh, try to uh, um, uh, use your economic concepts yes a country a sector uh, or certain uh, uh, literature review gap the same is going to happen with your assessment number two. Uh, you are going to use a uh, essay type assessment, so you will need to write an essay. So you need to apply your knowledge to certain space uh, in the markets or in, in of, of the economy. Okay, guys, I think uh, uh, that is me, my summary. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye bye.